I'm Bruce Shane, and today I'm going to take a look at cutting paper with paper. Now obviously if we want to cut paper there's got to be easier ways to do this. Now we could use scissors or a paper cutter or even a power saw. However, in this case, I want to use the paper itself as the cutting instrument. I tried making a pair of scissors out of paper. They didn't work too well. Instead, I'm going to cut out a circle with this circle cutter. There we go. Now next, I want to take a marker and I'm going to put some teeth on it. Now that's finished. I want to see if I can get it to act like this steel saw blade. Only it's paper. I'm going to use two plastic washers to add a little bit of support to it. I want to screw it onto my Dremel tool and we'll see if it cuts. First I want to put on safety glasses. And we're going to try something easy. In this case I'm going to use newspaper. I'm going to fold it up a few times just to make it a little bit stiffer. And I think that'll make it easier to cut through. So let's try it. Well, that works pretty good. Let's try it with the same type of paper that it's made from. Next, we're going to try a foam cup. Now, let's see if it'll cut through wood. Now let's try the same thing with other types of papers. This saw blade's made out of notebook paper, and I'm going to try and cut notebook paper with it. Drawing the cutting teeth was just for effect. This paper saw blade works just fine without it. Next I want to try some newspaper. Well, that didn't work. This is a flyer that we handed out for students. Cuts through paper okay. Next, I want to try it with cardboard. I soon discovered once the saw blade gets a small tear in it, it can disintegrate pretty quickly. However, some papers did hold up better than others. Now what we're seeing is an example of centrifugal force. I put a paper on here and I purposely bent it, but let's see what happens when I turn it on. The high speed causes it to straighten out. 
This tool spins the paper at about 12,000 RPMs. At rest, the paper stays bent, or at the very least, we can easily bend it by pushing it against another surface. That all changes when we turn it on. We say a centrifugal force causes the paper particles to move outward, and at high speeds, it makes it rigid enough to cut through other materials. However, centrifugal force is not real. It is simply the result of inertia. Now we can see the same results if we looked at a grass string trimmer. When at rest, the string is limp and flexible. But once we put it into motion, it becomes rigid and can cut through very thick grass, just like the paper did through the wood. Let's try it once more. This time I cut it out of a magazine cover. Well, we did have success with our paper saw blades, but I think I'm going to stick to scissors. Thanks for stopping by. See ya!